हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट मैथमेटिक्स पेपर टू ऑफ अक्टूबर 2019 सो वी हैव डन क्वेश्चन वन टू आई थिंक 16 इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट सो वी विल डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन इन दिस पार्ट सो हियर आर द instructions you can have green um, screenshot and then you can go through afterwards so let's start with number 17 write one number in each box to make the statement correct so we have 42 times 12 right so this is 6 so if i write here Mm, 42 times we can write it down as 6 times 2 to 12 right so we have 6 here so that means we need the remaining one so 42 times 2 it will be 84 here in this box right now the next one is 16 times something so we can split this 32 as 16 times 2 right so 16 is already there so we need these two 2 times 6 that means 12 right now 4 times so this can be splitted as 4 times 2 so 4 is already there so we need 22 times uh, sorry 27 times 2 it's 54 this is two marks question now number 18 complete these statements dash out of 10 is same as 60% so 60% means 60 over 100 so that means 6 out of 10 We'll go here. Five out of ten, twenty, is same as dash percentage. So to convert into percentage, we can just multiply by hundred. Twenty-five times five. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Twenty-five times four is a hundred. Five times four, it is twenty. So it's the same, right? Now number nineteen. Me is thinking of a number. The number is multiple of twenty-five. It's greater than three hundred, but less than four hundred and fifty. It's even. It's not multiple of hundred. So we are looking for numbers three hundred between three hundred and four fifty. Uh, three and then four hundred, then four hundred and fifty. It's greater than three hundred. So this is not. So out of these three, so done this. This is even. So all these are even. It's not multiple of hundred. Multiple of hundred, it's not there. But it's less than four fifty. So that means we are looking for a lesser number. So this is not. So final answer we are left with three hundred and fifty. Right. Now let's move to the next question. Number twenty. Wow. Ah, uh, we have a full calendar here. it says the date is 24th june so let's move to month of june it's 24th year okay so now let's see the question lily's birthday was exactly 3 weeks ago jamila's birthday is 6 days before lily's birthday uh, what is the date of jamila's birthday so lily's birthday was 3 weeks ago so from this date her birthday was 3 weeks ago so 1 week 2 and 3 so this was uh, whose birthday this is lily's birthday okay uh, lily's birthday is here right now jamila's birthday is 6 days before lily's birthday so 6 days before uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and Six, right? So we need to enter uh, May here. So her birthday is on twenty eighth of May, right? So we can write it down here, twenty eighth of May. Got it? Number twenty one. Angelic buys sixteen cans of lemonade for. Dollars eight point eight zero. Find the cost of each cane. So it's just a division. Uh, so eight point eight zero divided by sixteen. So eight point eight zero divided by zero point fifty five. 
give units with your answer so either we can write down it's dollar 0.55 or we can write down 55 cents okay number 22 here are four digit cards use each card once to make the calculation correct so 9 times 0 we have already 70 here we have 1 2 3 4 places here uh, so um, if i write here 19 okay so we have to pick and some numbers sorry 19 times let's say 19 times 30 so it if i write 19 times 30 i'm getting 2000 something uh, 700 but we are looking for a number that gives 7 here so 9 times actually see 9 times 3 will give you 7 here so we can write down 3 here right so once we are done with try we can try other numbers so now it's no it's not like that uh, so 19 times 30 so we can try 5 number here uh, 5 then it will be 59 times 30 1700 0, 0. yeah then it's done so if i write 5 here then 1 will come here 7 will come here so that's done now number 23 safiya says 3 13 and 23 are all prime numbers so all numbers that ends in 3 must be prime so this is not correct F explain why she is not correct we can give one example um, because uh, we can think of any number let's say 33 yeah simple if you divide 33 by 3 you can easily divide it so she is wrong like for example because 33 ends with 3 but it's not a prime okay so that's it for this question number 24 the table shows the cost in dollars per person for a holiday so we have here different costs mr and mrs wilson are going on five night holidays they are staying at palace hotel palace hotel is here uh, on full road basis what is the total cost of their stay at hotel so full board is here and they are going to stay five nights five nights is this one here so they are two persons so this times two because this is the cost per person so uh, one time sorry one six six nine times two it is three 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 eight dollars one six six nine times two okay now part b is mrs low is going for seven night holiday for exilation hotel how many more does she pay for full board than for a room only so here is the hotel that she is looking for and she is there for seven nights seven nights is this one so let's see uh, if so this is room only cost and this is full board so we how much she has to pay if she takes the single room we are just going to subtract this 1600 minus 855 so this comes out to be 5 and 4 7 745 so she has to pay 7.45 more number 25 here is a carol diagram multiples of 4 not multiples of 4 multiples of 5 and not multiples of 5 write these numbers in each box so we need to uh, distribute these numbers to their proper space now 36 36 is multiple of 4 right divided by uh, 4 but it's not multiple of 5 so 36 will come here uh, and 40 40 is multiple of 4 uh, and also multiple of 5 5 right 
uh, not multiple of 4 54 54 is multiple of 4 uh, no 54 if you divide 54 by 4 no it's not a multiple so it's not multiple of 4 it's not multiple of 5 so 54 is here and 64 is multiple of 4 uh, 64 divided by 4 yes it's multiple of 4 but it's not multiple of 5 so 64 will come here right now number 26 here is a number line with two numbers marked with the arrows you can see arrows on there what is the difference between the numbers so we have to see what number is this one so this is 8.1234567899 yeah, it's 8.1 so this is 8.1 and this is less than this is 2.9 2.8 2.7 and 2.6 so 8.1 minus 2.6 so 5 7 minus 2 5 so it's 5.5 5, right so that was number 26 so let's move to number 27 here so we have these thermometers here the thermometer shows the minimum and maximum temperature in Oslo in one year right Minimum temperature and maximum. Find the difference. First, you need to read the scale. So, this is from 0 to 10. So, this is negative 10. So, that means this is going to be, this is 1 less than that. This is 0 0.1, 0 0.2. This will be negative 0 0.9. Right? And this is going to be 20.1. So, we are looking for the difference. Right? Am I writing reading correct mm. uh, not really sorry uh, so this is not actually decimal so you see we have here uh, 0 and 10 so this is 1 negative 1 negative 2 so this will be negative 9 right and similarly here this is not decimal this is 21 positive right but we are looking for the difference so that means 21 minus minus 9 so 21 plus 9 it is 30 so the difference is 30 because this is the difference above 0 and this is negative 9 here so 20 and 9 so we have to add them together okay be careful whenever you do time and temperature question you need to think practically right question 28 here is an octagon on the grid of squares see the octagon is rotated 90 degrees clockwise about point a draw the octagon in its new position so we need tracing paper for that so let me take my tracing paper so we have to draw first this uh, octagon here we can trace this one right this is point a so we are rotating it 90 degree clockwise about point o so we need to put our pencil at point a so then we rotate it like this one one time right so it will come like this so these are the points press it hard to get impressions down there so this here this one so this is like this okay so this is the shape so that's how you can trace this one and draw new octagon right now let us move to next question 29 this is the last question of this paper i hope you guys understood everything please press the like button if you have if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet and share it with your friends here is a triangle measure the largest angle so this is the largest angle here so we can use the structure to measure this one so i'll put it here 
like this so if you see this is more than 120 so yeah 124 one less than this so this is 124 degrees okay now measure the longest side longest side is this one hypotenuse is the longest side so this is 7.8 yeah 7.8 right so that's it thanks for watching god bless you guys and make sure that you subscribe to the channel all the best for your coming exams see you in the next video